listen to the adventure on Pumlet on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and uh, we're doing this next interview far away from the hurricane we're experiencing right now. Uh, but I think the band is going to get like feelings of wind just from doing the interview. So let's welcome to the show, Hunting Giants. How are you? Hey, we're doing great. How you doing? Yeah, we're good. I, I have to say, there's not many times I talk about band names, but all I thought about is you're up there in Canada. And I'm thinking like uh, of like uh, Sasquatch walking around up there. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what we're oh, yeah. we're hunting all sorts of giants. Yeah, Sasquatch. Yeah, Oga Pogo hidden everywhere. There oh you yeah. Go. <laughs> well, I do know too. Like, uh, and they are giants. My best bro of life. He used to go bow hunting with a recurve bow up in Canada for brown bear. Damn. Oh, yeah. 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 I've I've seen a few brown bear for sure. Yeah, they can you know, get pretty big. yeah, and to me, like, okay, so I'm not big into hunting because, especially like people that like go after deer while they're hiding and stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you go after a brown bear with a with a recurve bow, uh, okay, then you're a badass. It does sound pretty <laughs> badass, you know, connecting to nature. Yeah, yeah, because if if you if you miss. <laughs> <laughs> you're shit. Of, I hope he's got like a revolver in his back or something like that. Cause you're, you're, you're shit out of luck there. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. You got a serious <laughs> problem at that point. Yeah. <laughs> so tell our listeners a little bit about your music, you know, uh, from your artist standpoint, opposed to being locked in a genre. So our, and they can get kind of a feel of what you're all about. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, my name is Brad. I'm the guitarist and songwriter. One of the songwriters. We all, we all contribute to the songwriting process. Um, and yeah, so we've been at it for a few years now. Uh, it, it kind of just starts genre -less, really. It's, it's just more of just a motivation to, to create something of, 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 you know, existential value, so to speak. <laughs> but you know, it's, yeah. uh, it, it just, it just comes from this, this, this passion. Right. And then it, you just kind of let it take the direction that it does. That's, that's what we did anyways. Mm -hmm. We just started creating stuff and, you know, we have a lot of, you know, energy and, and passion that we, that goes into our music and, and uh, yeah, we just, we just let that drive us. So, you know, it's, it's really all of our inspirations combined that kind of go through the subconscious and kind of come out the other end. So we're not, you know, we're not, we're not aiming at a specific genre and you know, we're going to, we're going to do that genre or something like that. It's, it's more just put, put the focus in and, and, and create something that, that feels true to you. And however it comes out is just that expression of yourself, you know? Very cool. I love that because to me, that's true. Being a true musician, like uh, you made one comment that I totally am into and that is just kind of, kind of let it happen let it take a life yeah. of its yeah. own type of thing that's kind of the way I'm, what i'm all about yeah and well it, it it gets tough for us now at the end of the of the whole process now that we have like some finished music to to kind of figure out what genre it is it's you know but we've we've heard it again we like everybody has their own interpretation of how they define us in in terms of genre or even the bands that we sound like we're always getting new bands it's actually a good way of finding new bands because <laughs> a lot of times it's like oh like alice in chains yeah but you know the, the other one i don't know so I, I go and check it out and it's like yeah i guess i guess we do we do kind of sound like that yeah there you but, go that's pretty cool and sometimes it's weird how you'll like sound like a band that 
you've never heard before because it, right. yeah. it's not even like they're an influence on you but people think it is yeah. That happened for me with Alice in Chains. Yeah, that's right. And I was like 18, 19 years old, right? Uh, just just starting to play metal in bands all the way through like 21. I never listened to a single Alice in Chains song. Mm. Like maybe maybe like, you know, <laughs> some of their most popular ones on the radio, that kind of stuff, right? But I don't even know who they are by name. And I listen to them. And I'm like, holy shit. Like this is where I pulled all my influence from mm. and I didn't even know it. That's I so had wild. very similar experience. Yeah, we were we were shocked because we we went through the whole auditioning process and tried them out, and you know, Alice in Chains was just a huge inspiration that we heard from him, and re- just the way he sang and stuff. We were just like, yeah, he's he's obviously really like Lane Staley's got to be a big influence on him, right? But, That's like Lane who? Yeah, like yeah. We had no idea. <laughs> we're like, no way. So then it was this big opportunity to go and discover all this music together. So yeah, it's, yeah, you know what's funny about that is I just got back from doing radio coverage at Louder Than Life, which uh, nice Allison mm-hmm. Chains played at. It's, oh, it's amazing! It's so eerie how the new singer sounds just like Lane. Yeah, like really? Oh, yeah. oh my That's god! It, it's like you wouldn't even know the difference. And <laughs> is he a much younger guy? No, and he he's not white either. <laughs> And like, it's like, it's weird. It's like, he's just spot on in every way, shape or form, you know? Wow. I mean, that's cool. They found the right person. Yeah. He's not old, but I think he's around their age type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I saw him a few years ago and I was, I was pretty impressed. Yeah. (laughs) Did not expect to see that again. Well, I know it blows my mind, man. It's like, wow. It's almost like Lane is possessing him or something. (laughs) <laughs> that's cool yeah the muse yeah. is flowing through them. yeah it's similar with journey right they, yeah they have a new singer yeah journey has a really really good singer right? oh yeah and you know here, here's right. some uh <laughs> trivia that might date me F- second concert i ever went to in my life first one i don't even count as a concert because it was like it was Beatlemania, so it wasn't really the beatles so i consider mm-hmm. this one the first one i ever went to in my life was journey back in like 79 80 wow yeah how was that oh, it was amazing <laughs> I and bet. lover boy it was a journey <laughs> Lo- lover boy opened for them oh, oh. Lover boy. <laughs> like they yeah. were a new band at the time that's yeah, amazing yeah. right yeah, it's wild it's a few years ago yeah yeah just a few uh <laughs> you know but that was like one of the stepping stones for me to slayer believe it or not like oh, yeah i went I went How's from that? like I went from like Journey to Zeppelin to Sabbath yeah, yeah. to Crew to Slayer. All, right. That's, that, all, the, that, all of the that was the Journey foundational metal. Yep. Colors. Did you collect their vinyls? Oh yeah, I I still have a bunch of vinyl. I still have cassettes. Nice. I still have cassettes from the tape trading days. Like where? Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I've like. I have Metallica's original demo. You can't even tell what's on it because it was recorded over like 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man. The good old days. We need to bring da- Tape Train back. It's kind of funny, though, because a lot of bands nowadays, because of the vinyl shortage, are putting out cassettes. It's like mm-hmm. becoming a thing. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, where do you find a cassette player? <laughs> I guess the same that, place you find a CD player these days. Yeah, I actually the old car. <laughs> just gotta just to go to like yeah, those you know junkers and, and just get one. Actually, you can buy like these record players that have the CD and the cassette in it. And, like, nice, you play, <laughs> and then you can convert your albums to MP3. Oh, oh that's nice. cool. Yeah, and then you know you got the MP3, but you got the sound of an album. <laughs> Nice. But then, what do you do, what do you even do with an MP3 these days? Yeah, right? I guess like it, you, put it on your you phone. can copy it on your phone or something. Yeah. but like you can't like add it to your Spotify or something, right? <laughs> no, but you would put it on like your phone. Yeah, yeah, and but, like have like an offline library. But what yeah, like we've we've thought about that, something. right? When we're distributing our our music and stuff, because we're like, oh yeah, we should put it on MP3, get it out there. But then we really like kind of challenged it and we're like, like, we're still going to do it, but it's almost like dated now, like CDs. It's like, yeah, the the number of places, like it's all just streaming. Everything is online. You get, you know, all the like 
Spotify and iTunes and all these places, right? And that's what people are used to going to for their music. Yeah. Well, you know, and think about it too. It's like I even me, who's somebody that has had everything. I've had eight tracks, cassettes, <laughs> records. You know, you know, I had 45s, 33s, and 78 yeah. records. And, uh, yeah. you know, I had it all. But, man, I like, I don't even download onto my phone. Like, I don't even have mm-hmm. it offline. It's just like if I'm listening to Spotify, Amazon, right. Amazon it's just so much easier. Yeah. You know, than having to store that stuff. Like, mm-hmm. even with my albums, like, every time I move, it's a pain in the ass to move my albums. Yeah. Yeah. I only have a few vinyls, but I swear, like, the only time I see my vinyls is when I'm moving. But I'm glad I still have them, you <laughs> right? know? Right? It's the collector value, right? It's yeah. still nice having something physical. Yeah. And, Absolutely. you know, there was an experience you had with an album. It was a full-on experience. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. That's why we uh, we actually put out CDs for this Mythos uh, album release that we're releasing on the 30th of September. Nice. We actually did the, the 90s CDs because mm-hmm. we're, we're all from the 90s in yeah. this band, right? So we wanted to represent really influenced by represent our influences, <laughs> yeah. right? So why not we make CDs? Yeah. We nice. did, they're the big, great. The big fat jewel cases, you know? Yeah. There you go. I love it. And yeah. and here's some interesting trivia for you. So when they first came out with CDs, basically there was articles that were saying that the Japanese already had something that was going to make CDs obsolete, <laughs> but... It wouldn't come around for like 10 years because they wanted to like saturate the market with the CDs. And that technology was an MP3. <laughs> oh, wow. So now that's dated technology. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that's crazy. It changes. Yeah. What's it going to be in 10 years from now? It'll be like. <laughs> direct to your brain, just I, direct injection. Yeah, yeah like I, I think it'll be like you see in the movies, like you'll have something in your arm or something and you can just you don't even need a phone anymore you know because nobody actually uses the phone you know i don't even know why it's called the phone anymore it should be called like <laughs> call it a tricorder and be done with it yeah exactly there you go like that was funny when i was a kid watching trek you know yeah. i mean i remember seeing those video calls and that like man it would be so cool and then you know the flip phones with the beam me up scotty mm-hmm. and then like it's so funny that flip phones are like a joke now yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah we have the ability to do video calls all the time but i know right we actually rarely do it right <laughs> i know it's it's it, what a trip man yeah. uh it, it's and it just keeps going faster and faster like I am fully 100% convinced the machines are going to take over. I've always oh, yeah. felt that. Oh, yeah. I, I've always felt that, though. <laughs> well, yeah. Will, will the world be better? I, I don't I mean, think they, so. they already have taken control, right? They control the algorithms that control what we see. Yeah. They're already slowly, they're slowly taking over. Oh, no doubt. At, at some point. Well, and then, you know, you have us all being assholes now. So at some yeah. point, that's going to give them the power to like, oh, let's wipe out these humans. Yeah. Or, I, I feel like machines are kind of better at dealing with internal corruption than humans are. <laughs> you hope so. Oh, a hundred percent. So here's something interesting though. Okay. So actual fact, there's a reason we don't have self-driving cars as the norm yet, because what they do is they program the AI that if you're driving on like say a Canyon road and there's a baby in the middle of the road, you know, it's like you have two choices as a human. One is run over the baby and save your own life mm-hmm. or swerve and run off the cliff and kill yourself and save the baby's life. Well, mm-hmm. the, currently the way the AI is set up is every single time it will take you off the cliff and kill you to save the baby. Or it'll take, not take you off the cliff, it'll take you and run over the baby to save yourself because it's it's the primary directive, you know, just like it. Sounds like that Will Smith movie. Yeah, where yeah. Like, he get I robot, he loses his arm, right? Because there's that like girl drowning. Like, yep. Save her! Yep, exactly. And they did in Star Wars too. So this is the stuff that makes me convinced that the machines are going to take over because mm-hmm. every movie in my lifetime has, that was sci-fi has come true so far, <laughs> you know? 
and so far. it's our dreams for the future right science fiction becomes the dreams oh yeah totally the so yeah. what they're studying now is that they basically said they will release self-driving cars as soon as they can teach the ai to make human decisions <laughs> oh, so well, that sounds like humans a make pretty mistake. bad decisions. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, that's a little <laughs> scary if you flaws. think about it. Because yeah. <laughs> once the machines can take make human decisions, there really is no need for us. But then you, they still have to deal with human error. If they made human decisions, <laughs> yeah, maybe that. Well, then that's why <laughs> they don't <laughs> need humans. Then, then the world's no better off. Yeah, <laughs> then it's just a bunch of machines acting like idiot humans. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> perfect! Oh, just man. like consuming the entire we'll be, universe, yeah, you know, yeah. just going planet from humans planet, stripping in. Myth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, where did we come from? Who built us? There's no creator. <laughs> the zeros and ones came together, of course. Yeah, there you go. We'll be like the like we look at cavemen is what we'll be looked at like. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they'll hide our existence. You know, they don't want to be shamed like shamed by the rest of the universe. Yeah, yeah. Say like, oh, we didn't come from monkeys. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so tell us more about the the new album and uh how people can yeah. get it, how can they can connect with you on social media, the web and, oh, yeah. and all that good stuff. Yeah, I mean we're in all of the usual places on the onlines, you know. We have our, our our own website. We managed to get uh, huntinggiants.com, which was pretty sweet to get. <laughs> so we've taken advantage of that. We put together a nice little website, a simple one, really simple. It loads quickly. It just gives Easy you the use. information that you want. It doesn't have all this extra crap all the all over the place, you know? Yeah. Um, our Instagram. Our Instagram is probably our biggest social media. Yeah. If you guys want to go to yeah, Hunting we, Giants on Instagram. Yeah, lots of activity there. We put you know, postings about uh, the new album coming up. We put clips on of our music videos and, and uh, we got a, a countdown on there right now, just counting down the days until Friday when yeah. you know, the, the album. Wow. Comes out. Only two more days. Coming up. Wow. wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Like so then, then we got pre-orders on our website, uh, huntinggiants.com. So you can go there and pre-order the physical CD. If you're, you know, oh, feeling yeah. retro. <laughs> you get a USB thumb drive, a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. We'll put it. Uh, we got a merch pack with it as well, so we get we got little uh, pack, uh, picks and USB uh, sticks with the album on them, and uh, Poster. little posters. And oh yeah, stickers. It's good time. And it's good time. A I like heart, it. A, a little heartfelt letter from us, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I love it. Like it's a lot of good toys. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Absolutely! Yeah, it's it, it, it's a great way to support us too because it's you know uh, like you can just get the album if you want you know we get the merch pack in there and that you know we're we're packaging it all ourselves we we got our store set up on our website ourselves it's all just yeah, you know within fully the indie group run. we just do everything ourselves we we outsource you know as little as little as we can with everything even down to the website design. And video editing. graphic design, the, all the music videos we just do ourselves. We we filmed our ancient text music video in our backyard, and just you know, just got it done. <laughs> we just we're, we're not it. total pros, right? We don't know exactly what we're doing in, in that regard, right? You but know, or, but we're I here love it to, to play the music, right? I'm old but, school. I love the DIY idea. Well, oh, absolutely. To, to be <laughs> to be a, a musician in in today's world. I mean, you know, a, a musician that that can uh, can can really get ahead in in, in independent some yeah some Especially. form of success, right? Like you can be any sort of musician, but if you want to, you know, you know, get a following and really, you know, have your your music connect with people, then you know you gotta you gotta be multidisciplinary about it, right? It's not. It's it's not like the '90s anymore. You can't just learn how to play your guitar and learn how to sing, and then just let everybody else do everything, right? Yeah. And you just just get signed to a label and just be like, "Sweet, I'll be at my pool." You know, <laughs> like you got it. You got it. You, it just doesn't exist anymore. It was it it was kind of weird that it ever existed in the first place, really. But you know, like back when when Hollywood first was created, then you know. To be a star back then, you could not just act. You had to be able to sing. You had to have 
uh, dancing ability. You needed some special talents. You know, you needed to be multidiscipline in all of these different ways to entertain people. And that's the only way that you could really become a star back then. Right. And it was really challenging. You know, yeah, and it's similar now with music, like as far as video editing, marketing, videography, these things you need at least to know, like the, the bare bones, right? Website design, yeah. things like that. Unless you're really wealthy and you can pay people to do everything. <laughs> well, but I mean, if you're just independent and you're just going to do it, then, you know, just take some Udemy courses or just figure it out. It's, it's, it's a fun time. Yeah. See, I was going to say now to be a celebrity in Hollywood, you just need to be a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it depends what kind of celebrity. But... <laughs> you know, not me, not in music, but you know, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, there's not many music celebrities that, you no, know, weren't from the 90s era. <laughs> no doubt. And, you know, you're right, because musicians have to work so much harder nowadays and make so much less money. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty true. Yeah, but, you know, that's that's what it's about, right? <laughs> it's, well, that's it's, where we are. Uh, we got to do the best we can. The rewards are what they are. It's not why we do this, right? It's Well, that's the difference to me. Okay, at least anybody that's putting music out today, you know they're truly in it for the music because they sure as ain't in it for the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. I mean, there's a lot of people that are spending a lot of money trying to make money on it, and you're just, you know, squeezing a dry sponge. <laughs> yeah, 100%. But I love guys like you that have the total passion for what they're doing because mm -hmm. that's where the best music comes from. Not the people that are like out there in the old days that just, you know, are looking to become a rock star and have zero talent. You have, you have to have a lot more talent nowadays, and you guys are yeah. definitely showing it for sure. So yeah. everybody's got to check it out. I think they definitely have to get these merch packages for two reasons. One, <laughs> man, that's a lot of goodies. Number two, the only way you can support your artists nowadays and they can stay alive is merch. Mm. absolutely indeed thank you so much oh my pleasure because i you listen i know how hard it is and i think people don't really get it they just they kind of look and a lot of people on you know that are not artists they think it's the same as it was back when and it's mm. not you know it's like there is no such thing as a rock star nowadays oh well, yeah well good <laughs> good art should be tough to make yeah you know it shouldn't be too easy otherwise it just feels cheap right yeah, if anybody can do it, then... Everyone will be doing it. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, there's the other side. Anybody can do it, but should they be doing it? I have that in my business, too. Like, you know, everybody nowadays fancies themselves a radio person or a podcaster. And it's like, yeah. most of you suck. <laughs> okay? And, like... Get over yourself. Have you ever listened to your podcast? Because you suck. You know, but, you know, that's where the cream rises to the top is because the people that really have the talent and really put everything into it, they will shine. And that is you guys. And the last thing Thank I have you. to say to you is you definitely have to start doing TikToks where you guys are out hunting giants. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. Well, we're yeah, going to get some recurve bows. We're going to go to the backwoods, and we're going to hunt us a bear. Let's, there, let's do, there you do. go. It could be like your version of uh, what was that movie? Fuck, I can't. It was, oh, uh, which, uh, Blair Witch Project. Oh, Blair Witch. <laughs> oh yeah. that's a good music video idea. Actually, yeah. that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, it totally <laughs> would. <laughs> that would be that's wild. A cool idea, man. Yeah, that's great. Any final words for our listeners? Oh, well, thank you so much for having us, yeah. and keep on rocking on, everybody. Yeah, it's we, a good life. We appreciate you, and 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 you know, we appreciate good music, and you know, we we want to share that. So you know, just check it out. Check out our uh, website. Check out our Spotify. HuntingGiants.com. I love it. <laughs> well, you guys rock, and everybody, go to huntinggiants.com. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, guys, and thanks for being on the Adventures Pipe Man. Perfect. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.